The methodology of a research project is the cornerstone that enables the transition from the theoretical background to the practical implementation of the study. In a way, it serves as a bridge between the pre-existing knowledge and the novelty of a particular project. In general, the adequacy of the methodology is conditioned by several factors. First of all, it needs to align with the overarching research aim and that methodology becomes the means of attaining it. For example, if the aim embeds a certain statistical component, such as determining the prevalence of a specific phenomenon, purely qualitative methods will not suffice. Second, the methodology of a project needs to be complex enough to encompass each objective while not extending its scope beyond reasonable limits. In other words, every step of it needs to have a particular meaning in terms of substantiating the discussion. Finally, a good methodology is transparent and feasible, making use of the available resources while being replicable. All of its steps are explained through the lens of particular research philosophy, which consists of three integral elements. Research philosophy is an integral concept to academic research, which informs a study's methodology and overall direction. According to Saunders, Lewis, and Thornhill, this notion is defined as a system of beliefs and assumptions about the development of knowledge. This way, research philosophy is the driving force behind a study that illustrates the researcher's perception of a particular phenomenon in light of their values, beliefs, and assumptions on the subject matter. There are different philosophies of research that address the collection and interpretation of data through various means. For example, positivism relies on the empirical observation of data, whereas critical realism argues that perception may be misleading. In turn, interpretivism draws the distinction between social studies and natural sciences. While the latter remains influenced by objective laws of physics and mathematics, the former is susceptible to subjective judgment due to the nature of the subject matter. Thus, selecting research philosophy is a crucial step that dictates a study's methodology and guiding principles. At the same time, this concept is rather broad and complex as it comprises three key components that determine the ultimate shape of research philosophy. The first of these elements is known as the ontology of research, and it addresses the very nature of knowledge and facts. Ontology is a study of being, seeking to explain what can be considered a fact from the researcher's perspective. For the philosophy of positivism, knowledge is objective, it exists outside social constructs and is not dependent on societal factors. In this scenario, observations reflect the objective truth and are not influenced by the lens of personal perception. On the contrary, the proponents of interpretivism would argue that reality may acquire a new shape when driven by societal transformations. The next component of research philosophy is known as epistemology. This component deals with the question of what can be considered a source of knowledge. In a way, it represents the inclusion criteria that a researcher implements when collecting the data for a specific project. In total, epistemology usually embeds four levels of types of knowledge that vary depending on the objectivity of a source. Intuitive knowledge is superficial as it relies on feelings and beliefs, which explains the name. In most cases of academic research, this level of subjectivity is not accepted. Next, there is authoritarian knowledge, which, being based on expert opinions and pre-existing research, usually meets the standards of an academic discussion, especially in the form of a literature review. Logical knowledge is the product of applying a piece of information to critical reasoning and drawing reasonable conclusions from it. In other words, it is a synthesis of multiple sources of authoritarian knowledge. Finally, when empirical tests have been completed to yield objective results, the knowledge obtained reaches an empirical level. In addition to ontology and epistemology, the philosophy of research embeds another element, which is its axiology. The first component, ontology, explains what can be considered knowledge and what the researchers will seek. The second one, epistemology, addresses the origins of knowledge, dictating the inclusion of sources in a study. In turn, axiology is the aspect that forms the interpretation of knowledge. 
In its direct sense, the word derives from a Greek term meaning value or worth. Therefore, axiology explains what the researcher values in the project's findings, whether it is the data's novelty or the study's replicability. When combined, ontology, epistemology, and axiology form the philosophy of research. Each philosophical element may acquire different forms, influenced by the prism of a particular philosophy. Evidently, they need to remain in line with the general philosophical perspective chosen, and a situation in which ontology is positivist and axiology is interpretive is not possible. By defining these concepts clearly, the project is driven by a strong philosophical aspiration. StudyCorgi.com has everything you need for successful studies. Writing tools, informative articles, and essay samples. Come check it out!